auxiliary equipment and maintenance work, centrifugal separators, purifier on ships. Why there is a need for purifier on ships? It is an obvious question which strikes in everyone's mind when we start reading purifiers. Why can't we take the purest oil on a ship? Then there will be no need of purifier. Crude oil is refined in the refinery and produces various fine products. Marine residual fuel is the last product in terms of purity in the refining process. Shipping companies try their best to cut down the prices. So we take heavy fuel oil from the shore and purify it on the ship itself because it is cheap. Distillate oil is way costlier than heavy fuel oil. On ships, separate marine purifiers are used for fuel and lube oil. Lube oil is purified only through centrifugation, while the fuel oil uses both centrifugation and gravity separation. There will be a confusion for cadets. In some places the name purifier is used in some places high-speed centrifuges is used. High-speed centrifuge and purifier in ships is the same thing. We call high-speed centrifuge because the RPM of purifier is around 10,000. And it uses centrifugal force for effective and fast separation. Location of centrifuge separator. After receiving the fuel oil in bunker tank, we transfer them to first storage tanks and then to settling tanks. Where it is stored and heated up to 50 to 60 degrees Celsius, there the heavier contaminants and water gets separated under the effect of heat. Fuel from the settling tank is drawn out through feed pump and passed through heater to raise its temperature to around 80 to 90 degrees Celsius. The fuel is then further purified using a centrifugal purifier to remove sludge, water, and solid contaminants completely. Then fuel is fed through a service tank for daily use of main and auxiliary engine. Difference between purifier and clarifier. Purifier. When a centrifuge is arranged for separating two liquids of different densities, for example water from oil, it is known as a purifier. The main component of the purifier on ships is the correct size gravity disc or dam ring which is responsible for creating an interface between the oil and water. Clarifier. When a centrifuge is arranged to remove only impurities and a small amount of water, it is called as the clarifier. Since it is used mainly for that fluid where mostly solid impurities are to be removed, gravity disc is not used in clarifier. Instead, a sealing ring is used to keep the impurities intact unless the sludge. Let us see in detail about working principle, construction of purifier used on board ship. Principle of operation. Oil, water and other impurities are of different density. Whenever the oil is subjected to centrifugal force heavier particles, water and solid, will be thrown outside. And lighter particles will remain close to the center. Construction of purifier on ships. Exterior framework. The exterior framework is normally made up of cast iron which supports the internal bowl and disc parts and carries water line, feed line, and outlet line connections. Bowl hood and sliding bowl. There are bowls inside the frame which can be a solid assembly operating non-continuous and have space enough to retain the separated sludge. There can also be an arrangement in which the upper and lower parts are separated for discharging the accumulated sludge by continuous operation. These parts are normally made up of high-tension stainless steel. Sliding bowl. Sliding bowl lifts when operating water is fed by covering the sludge ports. And sits back when operating water is removed and sludges are removed. Conical disc number of conical discs are fitted and covered by the conical hood. Distribution holes are also provided in those discs.
The disc stack consists of a large number of vertically arranged conical individual discs. Bars mounted on these conical discs keep them spaced apart to produce gaps between the discs. The disc stack is used to separate the product stream of oil into many partial streams. Gravity disc. The main component of purifier is correct size gravity disc or dam ring which is responsible for maintaining an interface between oil and water. Gravity disc is fitted at the heavy phase outlet, water outlet. Oil pairing disc. It is a stationary impeller mounted in a light phase outlet. Its function is to convert the rotating energy of the liquid into a pressure head. It is also called a centripetal pump. Water pairing disc. This pairing disc is fitted beneath the bowl and manages bowl opening water and bowl closing water. Vertical shaft. The vertical shaft is used to transform the electrical motor output into rotational motion for rotating the bowl at high speed through a worm gear and horizontal shaft or belt. The material used for vertical shaft construction is an alloy of steel. Attached gear pump. The general construction of purifier on ships consists of a horizontal shaft driven attached supply. Or discharge gear pump. It is also known as a feed pump of the purifier. In some system, an external supply pump may be installed in place of the attached pump. This pump supplies dirty oil to the purifier. The horizontal shaft or belt drive. The electrical motor drives the horizontal shaft through the clutch pads and is used for transmitting the rotational motion to bowl assembly. A special belt having elastic character is used in some models in place of the horizontal shaft, thus removing the use of the gear assembly. The horizontal shaft material is a special alloy of steel. Worm gear a worm gear is placed between the horizontal and vertical shafts for the transfer of rotational motion. The most common worm gears are made with a brass wheel and a steel worm. Clutch or friction pads. An electric motor will get overloaded if it is connected directly to the bowl assembly for the rotation of the same as the complete assembly is very heavier. To avoid this, clutch or friction pads and drum assembly are installed on the horizontal shaft. Normally the number of pads varies from 2 to 4 depending upon the frequency supply to the motor. As the motor starts, the pads inside the drum move out gradually due to centrifugal force and cause friction in the internal wall of the drum resulting in rotation of the shaft and the bowl gradually without overloading and damaging the motor and gears. The purifier brake, which is provided near the gear at the bottom of the purifier, must be in the release position. If the brake is not released, the purifier will not reach its required speed and the motor current will increase. Moreover, this will also cause wear down of brakes. Types of water in purifier on ships. Sealing water. Before proving the feed to the purifier, sealing water is provided so that the interface can be created between oil and water. After every desilaging, sealing water is provided to the purifier. Bowl closing water. This water comes from the header tank, which is located above the height of the purifier and supplies the water to the water pairing disc to close the sliding bowl so that desilaging ports can be covered. Bowl opening water. This water comes from the hydrophore and it has more pressure than bowl closing water. It helps the sling bowl to push down so that desilaging ports can be uncovered. Displacement water. Before the desilaging, there is oil inside the purifier. So we simply provide the water through the additional water to the purifier. So that the oil will lift up to the service tank and hence there will be no wastage of oil at all and purifier will be left with the only water before the desilaging. Operating water. In many books, they do not use the word bowl opening water and bowl closing water. 
they use operating water instead. The basic operations of clarifier and purifier are, it contains a stack of disk numbering up to 150 and is separated from each other by a very small gap. A series of holes are aligned in each disc near the outside edge which permits the entry of dirty oil. Due to the difference in gravity and centrifugal force, the heavier impure liquid water and particles move outside and lighter clean oil flows inwards and gets separated. The collected sludge and impurity can be discharged continuously or at a time interval. Depending upon the construction, automation, and system incorporated in a purifier before introducing the oil. Water sealing is established so that oil fill should not flow out through the heavy liquid outlet. In clarifier, there is no heavy liquid outlet for discharging separated water. Hence water sealing is unnecessary. Feed rate and temperature of the feed is extremely important for purification. For normal oil, one stage purification is enough. But for oil containing heavy sludge or catalyst mixture, multiple purifiers are used in either parallel or series to get better results. The new age purifiers or clarifiers are automatically desledged at a regular interval by use of timer and controllers. A discharge detector on the sludge side monitors the sludge side and provides alarm signal if any abnormality is detected.